up everybody, it's Derek Babineau again with Middlesex Tree LLC. Today we're looking at uh, different trees and different diseases just to talk about it and educate. So what I have here is a big tulip tree behind me that snapped uh, at the crotch. And if you ever are wondering about cabling trees or why they would be good to cable, if this tree was in a residential setting and you would want to keep the tree, it'd be a good idea to put a cable up in it. From the crotch, you're trying to protect two thirds to the top of the tree is where you would put the cable. Bolts on each side with a steel cable in the middle to hold those together from snapping. You can see here, it snapped out. If it was a residential setting, you'd have a serious hazard. And there was some rot in this one. So in a residential setting, that might've been a good removal either way, but still in all, without that rot in the crotch, a lot of times you get what's called included bark. That's where the tree gets so big, you know, every year they grow new rings. And then eventually the crotch is like this with the bark down in it. So the top of the crotch is all bark and it's weak. And then the wind will split it apart. So that's a good time to put a cable in it if you're trying to save the tree and that'll hold it together for a lot uh, more years.